Amen, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's French for fuck. <laughs> Come on, work it. supposed to be really loud right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't worry, it won't be too embarrassing. It requires a stand. <laughs> Apart from this fine piece of literature traveling up. Well, girl, welcome. Come on in. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Right, yeah, I haven't seen you in a couple days. Right. Yeah, we'll have a seat. Thank We're you. all being friendly. 
Um, so, oh, I think I ripped up. Nope, not that one. Here we go. This one I just was stumbling upon. I've been using this uh, well in my collage. Um, <laughs> this one, I actually take the glasses off. This is my banking suit. Remember how I had the, the whole thing with the uh, stocks and bonds? Yeah, we're, on, we're into banking because the, the ladies came up from Ohio and I suggested they get an account. So <laughs> this is kind of a, a main colloquial. I'm just catching her up. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> main semantic colloquialism spasms. So anyway, uh, from Low Michael, uh, published sometime long ago by Grace Livingston Hill, which I think could very well be a... M Man posing as a woman posing as a man in Victorian times. Lo, Michael, I gathered, having not read it, is that it, it kind of um, goes through the story of his, um, his life, you know, Dickens-ish. But um, this passage was uh, very poignant in Summers-like, Summers Eve. Um, or Falls Eve. Isn't, I think that's a douche, I'm sorry. <laughs> it is a douche. Glasses back on. And continuing on with our... Uh, oh, they're all fogged up. Shoot. Embarrassment makes everything fogged, so we'll just take out the old polarizing lens and carry on. Now that I've built this thing up to a grand crescendo, you're going to be really let down, but um, I remember what I was going to do here. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Not a soul was in sight, ah, and nothing moved, save a distant stare. <laughs> Not a soul was in sight, and nothing moved, save a distant sail, fleeing across the silver sheen to the sea. He remembered what the man had said about bathing and yielding to an irresistible impulse was soon swimming out across the water. It was like a new lease on life to feel the water brimming to his neck again and to propel himself with strong, graceful strokes through the element where he would. A bird shot up into the air with a wild, sweet note. <laughs> and he felt like answering to its melody. He wh <coughs> God. He whistled softly in imitation of its voice, <whistles> and the bird answered, <whistles> and again, and again, they called across the water.
with 16 bitch pile up by investigating their fine fine supply of, of goodies and products and so forth for their next adventure in high gas price land so thank you very much thank you Brendan and um, thank you the real estate agency of Maine and the Commission for uh, high banking and uh, etc so Frank Sturgeon is uh, off. The mix. There we go. All right. Here's another one. Oh, man. Oh. We can get it right in here. There we go. Just don't put it in the fancy bells, you know. <laughs> it cost me a lot. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right.